In this video we're going to take a look at a digital handheld radio, the Kirisan DP405. Let's start by the unboxing. The first to greet us is the instruction manual, more a user manual though. Next is the lithium ion 7.4 volt 2000 mAh battery that should last 8 hours plus very easily. Then we find the small cradle charger that won't take a lot of space on your desk. The adapter. And under the adapter we find the antenna hiding away. The antenna is for 400 to 470 MHz, so no need to cut or trim the antenna to a set frequency. And finally we find the radio. The radio has its normal on off and volume switch and a normal channel selector switch. They don't come off easily but with enough force we can pull them off. The radios are designed that way so that they are easily repairable or serviceable. And then we find the PTT button. The PTT button is nicely highlighted by this red trim. The action of pressing feels smooth and a satisfying click once engaged. It only has one programmable side button, limiting the radio for more than one or two uses. But if you set this to emergency button, it should work great for most users. The casing is made of a robust plastic and the chassis from aluminium. They have placed the battery clip in the battery and not in the casing as some of the other radios, thus making it easy by just swapping out the battery if the clip wears out after a couple of years. Now let's start assembling the radio. Even though it doesn't have a lot of buttons, it does have a couple of features like voice annunciation, direct mode operation in both its time slots analog, digital and a mix mode and on a side note mix mode is if it receives a digital signal it will reply in a digital signal and same for analog. It does a digital encryption and can do radio check, call alert, stun and revive and an optional man down. It can also do pseudo trunk that is a very handy feature for more than three tour groups on one repeater. As with all DMR digital radios, this one can talk on time slot 1 or 2, doubling up talk channels on a single frequency from one conversation to two at the same time. The only thing I would change is to add another programmable button as there seems to be space and I prefer the antennas you trim to a frequency as it just seems to work better. But this is definitely a good cost effective digital radio. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell.